A Dry Ridge man's remains returned home today. Paul Gordon joined the Army because he couldn't find a job, and he wanted to make his big brother proud. Nine on your side's Tony Moronis was with his family as he finally came home, 63 years after disappearing during the Korean War. 64 years ago, Paul Gordon of Dry Ridge joined the Army to be like his big brother, Arthur Ray, who served during World War II. Paul Gordon couldn't find a job after graduating high school. His big brother encouraged him to join the military. Donald Gordon is Paul's nephew. I kind of felt guilty, and he never really talked about Paul a lot, but you, you, you knew that when he did, you know, he was, he was hurting. Arthur Ray would die never knowing what happened to his little brother, Paul. I never gave up. It's, it... Dorothy Gayhart is their sister. Keep that little back in your mind that someday it's all going to work out the way it's supposed to. We were close friends. We were starting guards on the basketball team. Merle Simpson enlisted with Paul. We double dated and did everything. Where you saw one, you generally saw the other. Merle went to Japan. 63 years ago in January, Paul was sent to the Korean War. That's where he fought in the 38th Infantry Battalion, Company H. Found out he was captured and was a prisoner of war and died in a prisoner of war camp. Paul's family kept every newspaper clipping about POW trades. The articles piled up. There was no news for 63 years until this February. It's unbelievable to me that they had found these remains. I thought somebody was playing a joke on me. The United States Army presented Paul Gordon's remains today at CVG. I might not be able to talk to him, but I know he's home. I don't know how much it would have meant my dad. Paul and his nephew, Donald Gordon, never met. Gordon will be buried right here on Friday underneath the POW MIA flag at the Kentucky Veterans Cemetery North. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side, Williamstown.